Hi, and welcome to At the Table with Lisa in Warren with your host, Lisa Lantai. Today, we decided to do something a little bit more fun, and we're meeting with Jess Weiss, divorced mom of three. She grew up in Warren, she still lives here, and she has started her own business, The Jess Effect, your dating compass. Valentine's on its way, so we wanted to do something to help those looking for love find their someone. So Jess, tell me, what prompted you to become a dating coach? Well, it seemed like a big need out there right now. The single and divorced uh, widowed population is growing. And I have been in the single scene myself for the past few years. And I think that people our age and a little bit older, it's a new world out there with dating. It's not, you know, what it used to be 20 years ago. But now there's dating apps, there's texting, there's FaceTiming, there's all kinds of ways to meet people. And I think some awesome people need a little help getting them back out there. So you're you're a dating coach. Explain to me the difference between a dating coach and a matchmaker. What are you doing that's different than that? So I'm not setting people up. I am doing two things. I am helping them. I would say I'm an accompaniment Mm -hmm. to a matchmaker or to a dating app platform. I'm kind of helping people with their with their bios, with their profiles, picking which dating. There's 40 dating apps. Mm -hmm. Which one is right for you? Um, Which picture which pictures show you in your best light? Mm -hmm. What should you say to like show stand out and show show who you really are? And so that's one part of it. Mm-hmm. And I'm also setting an opportunity for people. I'm having these parties. They're different age groups. And they're awesome events. And people have the opportunity to come and meet two, four, six, twenty 20 p- different people. Low pressure. And not going out on many dates. Just two hours of meeting many people. And, and you know that you're going to meet people that are like you. And you're not sitting at home saying, oh, my God, where should we go tonight? Where, who are we going to meet? What are we going to do? So this is more of a controlled environment, so to speak, a safe environment. Yes. And you're helping people navigate this whole dating scene. I am. I'm, I'm starting. I'm looking to add a safety component to, mm-hmm. to my business of trying to look up. You know, you don't know who you're meeting on the Internet. Right. It's re- safety is super important. I tell everybody, like, some things that they need to do before going out on any date Mm -hmm. and I would like to eventually when I have a big enough population really filter and be able to help more in these events like certain types of people certain ages certain things that they're looking for that's great so what do you think you offer that is so attractive to so many looking for love um I think that people really want connection. People are living longer and living healthy and happy for many years. And love is so important at any age. Love is so important. They have a new chapter in their life. They want to live their best life. They want to be happy. And part of that is having a companion to a lot of people. And so what better way to, you you know, I, I think that I would say that I have there's two different populations that I've been helping. Mm -hmm. Some are people that are just getting divorced or widowed or whatever it is, and they need help getting back in. Mm -hmm. And then the other population that I have been talking to a lot are people that have been out there dating for years, running around, having a great time. And they're like, you know what? I want to settle down and really find the right person. Mm -hmm. And so I've been helping them focus on what is important and it's working. Values. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And then also you have like a very personalized approach, it seems, where you'll look at the person's dating profile and say, you know, maybe this picture doesn't put you in your best light. Yes. Maybe this outfit isn't the one that accentuates your eyes or whatever you want people to see. Yes. So you help them so figure I'm doing all that some, out. Yes, I'm doing some image consulting. Mm-hmm. Um, people, you know, they've been married for 20 years. They need a little tweaking. Right. And I have excellent contract you know people that i'm working with that i trust and maybe someone needs a little botox maybe someone needs a haircut maybe someone needs some teeth whitening whatever it is a new pair of jeans an outfit for a date i'm helping people do a little revamp do a little uh just to make themselves like yes stand out yes and then if you 
let's just say I'm a guy and I want to take this girl out, but I haven't been on the dating scene long. Will you help me figure out what's the best date? How to plan a date. Yes. How to plan a date, where to take them, what to wear, what's appropriate to say, what's not, like dating etiquette. You'd be surprised people. Because when you're not in it for so long, you forget, right? Right, right. That's really interesting. So what if, what advice do you have for people who are kind of afraid to put themselves out there, but they really want to find a meaningful relationship? Because I'm sure it's much easier to sit home with Netflix than put yourself out there. Yes. You know what? No one's coming to knock at your door. <laughs> you got to put yourself out there. Right. I actually, like, there's so many people that are so successful professionally, and then when it comes to their love life, they don't have the same confidence yeah, that's and they funny. need a little boost and they need, you know, they need to feel good about themselves and they need to feel successful mm-hmm. and be effective in their dating. They don't want to go out on bad dates. They want to. And I have to say you're a nurse by background, yes. right? And that's what makes you so compassionate and caring. And you really are a cheerleader for these people Absolutely. because you let them see their good side Yes, and how to present that to everyone else. Yeah. What better thing to bring I, to someone exactly. than, than, than love and connection? And I'm so happy and excited for all And it's my so clients. good for your mental health, yes. especially when you have somebody that you can share things with. And it doesn't mean you have to get married again or no. just someone to share your life with, which Absolutely. is so important than being alone. Yes. So um, what would you say um, is the bigger challenge for people getting back on the dating scene? So um, I've been, let's say my... I've been out of it for 30 years or so. And now all of a sudden I'm getting in my twilight years and I'm like, you know, I kind of really want somebody. So is the first step getting a profile picture? Is the first step going to one of your events? Or what's like the first thing they do? I think it can be... Different for everybody? Different for everyone. I think some people feel like they prefer meeting in real life. Mm -hmm. And that works for some people. And some people, you know, enjoy the swiping and you can find a lot of information that way. And it just, it's just... Do you it think- depends on your outlook. I think the most important thing is to have a positive outlook. Mm-hmm. Try to not bring past dating experiences or past relationships into the present ones. Like each each date is a clean slate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And would you also say that people can't come with preconceived notions? Like, oh, I'm not going to like them because of this on their profile. Like, just give everybody a chance. Yes. Come in with a positive mm-hmm. out. And don't be, you can't be easily offended in this world of dating apps. If someone doesn't respond to you, if someone unmatches mm-hmm. from you. That's interesting. I always t- like tell people, until you've met someone, don't be offended. You have no idea what's going on in their lives. Right. Like, they could have been in a, God forbid, a car accident. Someone could have, a million, like, you Why don't they know. They didn't. could have gotten back together with their with their ex. Right. Their kid is busy and they're home from college and they want to spend time and so they haven't checked their, like, you can't be offended. Mm-hmm. People have things going on in their life. Have a People thick skin. People unmatch. You got to have a thick skin and don't take it personally. Right. Right. Wait until like you meet someone. And would you say there's a lid for every pot that you think everybody yes. can find somebody? Absolutely. I love that. Yes. Well, Jess, it's been great talking to you. And Thanks. everybody keep in mind, it's the Jess Effect. My first event is February 8th at the MC Hotel in Montclair. And you have to register to for this. Yes. Ages 40 to 60. Great. It's going to be Awesome. I already have such great people signed up for it, and I'd love to have more. The more, the merrier. Thank you so much, and happy Valentine's Day to you and to all of those that you're helping. Thank you. Thank you.